Yo, what up, my boys? Back with another video. So, the market is kind of doing what we discussed yesterday in our video. So, uh, we're going to talk more about that. Let's first talk about the flips we made over the, the last couple of days. So, I had a couple of gold medals. And I bought these all for like under 14k. And hopefully, I can get out by 6 p.m. I also bought into a couple of out-of-packs. But we're going to talk more about that. Or oh, not out-of-packs, special cards. So we got Tio Hernandez on the 14k, like 13.5. And let's see what price he is right now. So he's already above 40. He's already above 50. So he's moving towards 16k. So we're looking really solid on Tio Hernandez for on the 14k. I'm trying to sell off like 16.5. But let's now discuss um, the meta market, right? The outer, like the special car market. Because that's like that's one of the most popular market right now, right? So if we go to the popular page, we can see that the market is absolutely skyrocketing. Everything is rising. It's not going to be a rise like this, but it's a slow rise. And plays like Joe Gomez, like there are still some opportunities to get involved in this market. Like a Marlon. These are plays I really like. Um, any, Anything all else here? Frankie is, a, is a, um, an SPC. Ferran, like you, we can look into, like we're gonna look into the expensive place first and show what the market is doing, right? Guardado's a great buy if he drops. I kind of want to look into this Congelo. Um, but yeah, right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna discuss cards that you could, you guys could, could potentially buy. Once we hit, we going into 6 p.m. because today could be a really interesting day. So let's focus on this. Um, I also want to get a couple of expensive cards, but. Cars like these are absolutely flying up in price, as we, as we can see. Look, he was 40k earlier and 49k right now, and it just rise, right? So I think this rise is going to continue. Look, 26, 28. A little bit of a dip. Like, these are the dips you guys want to buy into, by the way. If you see a dip like this going into content, that's kind of what I want to discuss today. Like, a dip like this and then a rise further, right? Ferran, the most expensive players are flying already. So if somebody like Ferran is already moving towards like 760. I think this guy is going to move to 800k. Guardado, great card to buy, my boys. If you, saw, if you guys see any dip of this, like on the 125, he's already moving to 130, just buy. I kind of want to look into this Cangelo. I know he's not in packs of out of packs, but I do think he's too cheap. Let's have a look, yeah? 112? Yeah, I slowly think this guy's gonna rebound as well, so even this guy is, is gonna be a buy. I think he, mo he he might go slowly go back to like 130. He's way too low, right? But if we look into the expensive cars, like cars like Ferran, cars like Neymar, these guys are absolutely flying up in price. Look, Neymar is back to like 4-4, and what normally happens on the market is the expensive guys move first, and then the cheaper guy's gonna follow. So this guy dropped all the way to like 4.1, and right now it's moving back towards 4.4, which tells me that this market is fully rebounding. So we can also look to the squads. I showed you guys a couple of plays you guys could make during 6 p.m. already, right? Let's go to all these um, all these teams. So Farhan is already moving up. This Diani went to 1.2. I think she was 1.1 yesterday. So we can just see the expensive cars are absolutely getting high in price. Look, she was she was around like 1.2, 1.2. Went to 1.3. And today she already is going back to like 1.26. So everything is just rising, lads. It's not a crazy rise on her, but trust, she's going to go. Um, Jesus is a little bit. That Davies, my boys. Look at this. Davies. Look at this, my boys, man. Went to, he's, he's moving towards 780. Absolute record highs. Right? Like for the last couple of days. Look, he was 600, like 700k flat and just rising up for the past couple of days. Going towards 780. So, massive rises on the market. So, it kind of, the market is kind of doing similar to what we discussed yesterday. It's not going to go up like this. Let's go to paint, yeah? Oh, Van Dijk, by the way. Van Dijk is a runner. She a track star. Frimpong as well. And any of these guys, whenever they drop, are going to be by. So, that's kind of what we're going to discuss today, yeah? Let's look at the Van Dijk. Look at this, my boys. 
the expensive cards are just flying up in price. Anything that's too cheap is slowly rebounding up. Frimpong. Frimpong is kind of low. Frimpong. Frimpong is kind of low. If you see this, my boys, and you got the coins, Frimpong might be a buy because this guy been risen, man. Let's see. You want the six? It's kind of getting cheap. Hey, keep an eye on this Frimpong. Maybe like 540, 530, even 550 if the supply is low. Could be a buy. Look at this rise yesterday. So high demand for Frimpong. Plays really well IRL as well. So he got a lot of hype IRL as well. So keep an eye on this Frimpong. He's kind of getting low. And I don't know if he's going to stay low for a long time because it's an extremely rare card. So if we can see, there are still some buys on the market, right? I also want to look into Anzu Fati because he is a really high demanded card as well that people really like. Um, Anzu Fati 345. So this is also a card I really like. Look at this rise. If you see a rise like this, my boys, this is just screaming by to you. Like, if you see this guy back to 330, 320 between that, I think it's a buy. When you see a rise like this, this is just clear demand. So, if this guy drops again, going into 6 or after 6 p.m., just jump on it, right? The only thing you have to be careful of is like um, Evos. If EA drops like an Evo, if EA drops like an Evo, or something that can hinder with this card, that might be a little bit tricky. But other than that, I would just jump on the market and buy these players up. You can literally buy almost anything that have shown demand for the last 24 hours, right? We can also look into the pro players. This calf in Phillips, my boys. Holy smoke. It's the same as it's the same as Anzu Fati. This guy had a big rise. Look, he went to 130 plus, and I like we said. The rise is just going to continue. So, once again, if you see this guy at 120, he is just a buy. He's just going to rise throughout the week because more and more people are going to buy. How, how later we come in the week, how more people are going to buy. So, let's go to pain. So, like we discussed yesterday, the market is not going to do this, right? Like we see today on the market, it's going to be like this. Boom. Slow rises, slow rises, right? On a lot of cards. And this, like, it's just because EA took so many coins off the market. So, what could happen during 6, right? We know that the market is going to move like this. So, let's say right now we're over here. It's like 3 p.m., 2 p.m. UK time. So, right now we're over here. The market is slowly going to go up going into 6. Depending on content, we got two scenarios. So let's say there's a non-tent. EA doesn't drop anything. We're going to have a slow buy window for maybe 10 to 20 minutes. And then the market is going to continue to rise further, right? But if we have some nice content, the same thing is going to occur. So 6 p.m. was over here. So we're going to have a little bit of a bigger drop. Boom. Maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And then we're going to see the rise. Depending how demanded the content is. So guarantee. We're going to see a rise in both scenarios, right? Both scenarios would be a rise. Depending on the content, it, 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 it all, it's all going to, like, um, how do you say that? Like, like how, low the, how long the, the drop will be after content or the rise will be depends on what type of content it drops. If it's just a, a refresh SPC, like an 83 10 times or something, ain't nobody going to benefit from that. So we're going to see scenario one. If it's like a nice juicy SPC, but then it's maybe some lightning rounds here and there. We could see a, a drop for like an hour, so you guys got more buy times and the drop will be a little bit more. If you see scenario one, don't wait for the lowest dro drops. Just buy. Whatever you see that's a little bit low, just buy. Because you don't going to have a long, buy, a, a, a crazy buy window, right? So, if you see that, EA doesn't do, doesn't do any content, I would just gamble on a bigger rise. So if something went to 130, let's say Calvin Phillips went to 130, and you see it for 125, just try to snipe it for like 123, 122, and gamble on that, gamble on, on him big, having a bigger rise, right? So that's what you have to do. One, look for cars that has has risen over the day. That's that's one for the last 20, like let's say the last two days, right? Two, wait for content and see what happens at content. Three. Depending on content, judge how low the market will be. Is the content mid? Market is going to drop for like 10 to 20 minutes. 
is the if we're gonna get insane content market is gonna drop from one hour to two hours and then we're gonna see the rebound so that's it for today you guys know what to do you guys know what to buy let's make them coins today i'm out peace